And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us. And partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you've got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. All right, we'll be back to get this one after this. So just about set and towing the slab in this one. Zach Gallen, what should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound. ERA in the low threes. Very respectable when you consider guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. Charlie Blackman, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. And a swing and a miss. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. The wide to kick the pitch. One ball. He's great. Fights that one away, still one and two. Just oh, missed. It's a good take. Next one in the dirt. Gets a piece and stays alive. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Three, two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Three, two. Line drive, and that's a base hit to right. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, wore him down after an extended plate appearance. It ends with a knock. At that oh, point in a bat for a hitter, when you've seen that many pitches, you've gotten a look, you've fouled off pitches, so the confidence level is extremely high, and it seems like when you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Now, here is Ezekiel Tovar. And a pitch. That one hit to right. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. And the righty deals. Check swing, no appeal. Gallon checks on the runner. The two on. They had a swing and a miss there. Blackman gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a swing and a miss. One down. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Oh, 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that drops in for a strike. Tap to first. Smith feeds to second out there. Back to first. Double play. Nice job getting over, and that ends the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. And now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Back here in the desert, and today's starting pitcher, Chase Anderson. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. We go to the bottom of the first, and now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Corbin Carroll. Corbin Carroll. The pitch. And that's outside. Anderson ready to work. And that one fouled off. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And a ball in two strikes. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. One away. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching. And that's a fair ball. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And that's a double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. One out, runner at second. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. is 23rd of the year and it gives him the lead in the first it's two nothing when you're working with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around work quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. Just off the outside edge. And that's ball one. Kicks and deals. Inside no, just good. missed. Anderson, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Not but when you fall behind in the count, the you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Man at first with one gone. Alec Thomas digs in now. 
That misses the zone. One and oh. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner. Every pitcher is a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. He's got it. And yeah, there's two away. That exists. That exists. The first baseman, Paver. Smith. And the batter now, Pavin Smith. Ball one, no strikes. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. Left-hand hitter waits. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Next offering upstairs. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Two outs. There's a strike. Longoria off of first with two away. Got it by him for the K. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. Second inning set to go. So in now for Colorado, Nolan Jones. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Slapped foul. Gallon. He has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Struck him out looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expanded a little bit with two strikes. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. In there for strike one. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser like focus slow everything down stay right in that moment pitch to pitch execution and focusing on that catcher's mitt. Strike two. Larry Bullard our umpire behind the plate. But Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit but overall well respected umpire in the league. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Thomas calls it in, two away. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah, even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. And Lowry's Montero stands in now and watches strike one. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. Boog Zach Allen played his college ball for the University of North Carolina and decided to wear the number 23 for the Tar Heel. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Rockies are down quietly. They trail things here 2-0. Back here at Chase Field, Leader bottom half of inning number, number two. And now the, the veteran third, third baseman, baseman Jace yeah. Peterson. Peterson. Anderson back to work. 
Strike one. Oh and one. And one that's ball. outside. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Tobar makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting it. The catcher. Jose. And here's the catcher, Jose Herrera. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the 1-0 misses low. Well, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over-aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. One down, base is empty. That misses oh. off the outside edge. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but Batting so much for that. Pretty good That's pitch, but just doesn't get the call on 3-0. Here's the shortstop at the play. Geraldo Perdomo. The MO for him is contact. The guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Y'all, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. That one's in there. Strike one. And that oh. misses off the outside edge. One one. Herrera at first, one gone. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Cut off. Now a throw home. He beats it safe. And they're up by three. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. This is Corbin Carroll. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Foul ball there. One out and a runner at second. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. The batter, number four, second baseman. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Doubled in his first AB. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. At the belt and fires. Check swing went around and it's 0 2. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. D backs with a run scoring double. It's now 3 0. Top half of the third inning. And now Elias Diaz. Diaz goes six foot one, 225 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. And ball one. And now two and nothing. Two balls, no strike. The pitch. Foul ball. K 
kicks and fires. Swings through that. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Good horizontal movement on that curveball right there, and just enough to get him to chase it. He placed it just off the corner, and that's one of those where a pitcher says if he's going to miss, he's going to miss off the plate. So really good job. Great pitch for the punch out. Brenton Doyle stands in now, looks at that one inside. Next offering is fouled back. 1 1 now. And fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And there's a the ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow, mm -hmm. Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Next to hit, Austin wins. That one's in there. That's strike one. And a pitch. Now oh. one and one. Gallon checks on the runner. Three. Here's a one to one. Right. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws now it's Charlie Blackman in there and it's on one Doyle the lead runner out at second wins over at first with one away he swings and hits a fly ball center field Thomas pulls it down, and there's two gone. Throw, and it gets away. And he'll move up to third on the throwing error. Now that the football. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. His first at bat was a strikeout. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Two outs, two in scoring position. Next pitch inside, and it's 2-0. and oh. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at-bat strikeout. And there's the strike. And that's outside. Ryan McMahon up next. The 3-1. And they're all loaded up. 
He knew he had a little wiggle room with the open base, but now that disappears. Mistake to this next batter, and this inning might really break open. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. He hit into a double play his first time up. That one missed. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Two outs. Bases are full. Next pitch way upstairs. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in a run. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Next offering upstairs. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Nolan Jones up next for the Rockies. Up the middle. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. He doesn't have a throw. And a run is in to score. Two outs, bases full. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Rockies, Nolan Jones. First oh. offering misses the mark. just missed off the outside edge. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Left-hand batter waits. Pitch misses there. Three balls, no strikes. Bases loaded here. If he walks them, probably not the worst thing because the alternative could be a grand slam. And a pitch. There's a strike. Laser base hit. One runs in. The second run scores. Back even. It's 3 3. A two run double. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch yeah. run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Brendan Rogers digging in for the Rockies. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Second and third, two down. Two on, two outs. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Righty delivers. That's inside. Foul ball still, a 1 and 2 count. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Got him swinging for the K. Had him out front for strike three. So they get three and draw even. We head down to the home half of inning number three. All tied up at three apiece. of the third. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Gurriel. Pitch. And takes low for ball one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. 
Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. And that one gets down, fair ball. Man, he just absolutely no turned on no that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of standing with mechanics. Longoria. Evan Longoria stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. There's a strike. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hauls it in for the out. Oh, he throws it away. The seven number five. Alex. Alec Thomas now hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. In the air, out towards left center. Doyle makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now that the first base is Pavin. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Pavin Smith struck out swinging his first time. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And one and one. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. Just missed. Smith tries to check his swing. Now we'll look to third, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Welcome back. And now the first baseman, Elauri's Montero. Number 44, Elauri's Montero. The right hander back to work. And ball one. All these Rockies doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. In there. And so now one and two. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. 2-2 two -two now. That's down and in. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball. And the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. High fly ball out to center field. Thomas running hard to get it. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one away. And now it's Elias Diaz. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. And that's down it away. And he deals. Good eye in that spot.
Swing and a miss as he was late. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And now it's three and two. Broken back, ground ball to second. Bear hands it, tough play, and that's a great play for the out. Good late life on that inside fastball, ran in on the hands and got that weak contact, little slow grounder to get the out. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. That one not close, and that is ball one. The wind of the pitch. Strike on the inside corner. And it's one and one. In the air out towards right center. It gets down a base hit. He obviously put a very nice swing on that pitch and really drove it towards the gap, but. I'm pretty surprised he only ended up on first right there and it's kind of hard to say if there was some hesitation or if they just decided to play it safe and now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's the catcher Austin wins. He's going, he's going. Here's the pitch run around the goal. There's the ball throw to second save. That was close but Statcast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Next offering is in for a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And the pitch. That's in there, and that's strike two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. And the right hander deals. Ground ball, left side. Third out. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. We're midway in the fourth, all tied up at three apiece. Back here at the ballpark, John Chami and Chris Singleton with you. And leading the off the bottom of the fourth, Jace yeah. Peterson. Peterson. The wind and the pitch. Ball one low. You know, these D-backs showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. And here it comes. And it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Jose Herrera stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Lays down a bunt to the right side, and he grabs it foul. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Kicks and deals. Puts a bunt down. Montero slings to second. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. That's your foul. And the batter will be the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. He doubled home a run in his first AB.
Check swing. He held up. Ball one. One and oh. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Good eye right there. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Righty to the plate. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The 1 1. And there's a foul ball. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Way to lay off that pitch down. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two on, one out. Rip to first. Caught. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. One left for the Diamondbacks. So no change in the score. It's 3-3. Three, three. Back here in the desert, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Charlie Blackman. The pitch. Missing inside, and that's ball one. Movement in the bullpen, Kevin Ginkle. Up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Man supply, getting cranked up as well. And the righty deals. So two no. balls and no strikes. Two balls, no strikes. And it's fouled away. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Just oh. off the Fouled outside away. edge. That Thank one misses. Good. So a leadoff walk. Go ahead, run on base. Next to hit for the Rockies, Ezekiel Tovar. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. pitch with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here kicks and fires swing and a miss struck him out he swung over top of the curveball. Well, oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Next for Colorado, Ryan McMahon, one for two. And that's in there for strike one. Blackman stands at first with one out. Next offering away upstairs. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And strike two. One ball, two strikes.
Next pitch, not close, up high. Left-hand hitter waits. And just misses with that one. Nolan Jones in the Colorado on deck circle. Three two now. Swings and sends a rocket to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now here's Nolan Jones. So he came out clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. And that's too high. The 2 0 is in for a strike. And a foul ball. Two outs. And now the count filled up three and two. Brendan Rogers. Up next for the Rockies. Three two now. Got him looking. That ends the frame. The Rockies strand one. Score remains tied at three. Here at Chase Field, leading, leading off, off Cattell Marte. The second baseman, Cattell Marte. Anderson back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, these Diamondbacks, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've launched six hits at 90 plus exit velocity. And that doesn't happen by accident. Out towards left center. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. One away. Now got left fielder. Here's Guriel. He's already homered in this game. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result. He's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. First offering misses the mark. Fouled off. He was late. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Close, but called a ball. Two balls and a strike. One strike. Little dribbler up along third. McMahon fires over to first. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Yeah, he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition. Well, he tried to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play. Have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Jones puts the squeeze on that one and that is that nothing doing for Arizona still tied three and three so out of the pen for the Diamondbacks Kevin Ginkle he last pitched two days ago Kevin Ginkle Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. The second base. 
Brendan Rogers measures six feet even 26 years old and he won a gold glove last season and a pitch that's in there. pitch next offering is outside not close with that one two balls two strikes right-hander kicks deals and it's filled up him down on strikes not sure about that call pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three we call definitely a borderline pitch right there and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout you know those are tough ones to let go as a hitter but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes and now here is a Lowry's Montero into center Thomas gets under it pulls it down and he makes the catch Two away down. Now that designated hitter. Aaliyah and next Diaz. is the designated Diaz. hitter, Elias Diaz. Swing and a foul, pushed off to the right. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. And now one and two. This one in the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Three up, three down that time. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. All tied up at three apiece. Bottom of the sixth inning, and stepping in is the speedy Alec Thomas. Anderson back to work. Good eye right there. Bullpen activity starting up now. Ty Block getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Bird getting loose as well. The 1 0. And there's a ball. Ripped to third and caught. Now back, first base Pavin. Now up next for Arizona, Pavin Smith. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. In the air, right field. Blackman tracks it down for the out. Every day the during batting pitcher. practice, Number these outfielders hit. get about Jay. 10 minutes of balls Peter in the gaps. Yeah. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. That one ripped. That's back. And into the pool. It's out of here. He made him pay for that one, his seventh home run of the season. And the D-backs jump out in front. It's 4-3. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Now the D backs catcher, Jose Herrera. On the ground, right side. 
gets it to first. Out number three. D-backs get one on the solo jack. It's now a 4-3 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. And now the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And the pitch. Outside. Wow. Next offering is fouled back. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And a one two. Bounce to the left side. And that's a fair ball. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Austin wins, digging in for the Rockies. And a sack bun here. Smith. And he takes it himself for the out. Bryce Jarvis gets the call from the pen. He's pitching on two days rest. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the diamond. Number 40, Bryce Jarvis. Here's Chuck Nasty. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. And that just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Next one misses. Two and two. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. At the belt and fires. Just misses. And that's ball three. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you. So you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. One run game. One out. One on. Fly ball center field. Nice grab on the run. And there are two outs. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. A strikeout and a walk. Bounced up the middle. Perdomo on the run. Sends it over to first. Low throw and he can't dig it out. You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks and sometimes even worse. You know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden you got another out to get and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for. Ryan McMahon, the next to hit. One for three. In for a strike, going one. Two on, two outs. And downstairs. Oh. 
Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. Nice work from the snake pen there. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Rockies three. New arm out of the bullpen, Ty Block. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Well, one run game. Now it's the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. The pitch. There's a strike. Ground ball up the middle, and it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He's going. He's Runner going. on the goal. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And that one is inside. Perdomo aboard here at first with nobody out. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Next offering is down low. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Marte in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. Down the line, it's a base hit. Perdomo around third. One run is in. Row cut off. Now to the plate. Not in time. He scores. It's six to three. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And here is Lourdes Goriel Jr. He's already homered here in this one. Rocketed out towards right center. And no one can get there. It falls in. Run comes in from second. It's seven to three. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Jake Bird takes over on the mound. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. So a man aboard, and now the DH, Evan Longoria. Misses outside, and it's 1-0.
Runner at second, nobody out. Next Whoa, pitch is outside. outside. Now 2-0. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. The 3-1. There's the strike. No outs. Runner on second. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Alec Thomas will hit next. Oh, and the no, zone doesn't get the call. Ball one. One ball, no strike. And there's a strike. And a swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. The next pitch misses. The count now two and two. On the ground to first. Goes to second for one. Throw to first. Safe. So up next, Hayden Smith. In there for strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can no, dictate the rest there. of the at bat. Nice job right there. Another throw over. Yeah, they're keeping him close. Left hand batter waits. Sliced hard, but foul. First and third, one down. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game. I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Now it's Chase Peterson. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. And a pitch. That one missed. Got him. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So they get three runs, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Diamondbacks seven and the Rockies three. Welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Nolan Jones. The Rockies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the late off, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And that is in for a strike. Four to one. Action in the pen down there. Number 30 is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Castro, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. Yo, one. 
puts it in the air out towards left center. Thomas running hard to get it. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. So, man aboard, Brendan Rodgers now at the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Jones leads off second with nobody out. Fought off foul. Here comes a pitch. Caught him looking for the K. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. And here's the first baseman. Elauri's Montero. And that's through there for a strike. Runner at second here, one gone. That one close, ruled a ball. One ball, one strike. There's a strike. Next offering misses, now two and two. And another ball. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string of the changeup. Next is the designated hitter, Elias Diaz. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about, I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in no spots. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Two outs and one in scoring position. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here at the ballpark, on to the bottom of the eighth. Now the D-backs catcher, Jose Herrera. The wide to kick the pitch. Popped up on the left side of the infield. McMahon hauls it in, and there's one away. The batter, number two, shortstop. Next to hit for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. No matter what, when you're playing this kind of rival, you take your game to another level. First pitch, and he just misses. Bounce to third. McMahon slings it across, and a couple of quick outs. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Back to the top of the lineup, Corbin Carroll getting ready to hit.
Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that'll do it. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. But they still lead it 7 3. Number 30 gets the ball now, and he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Here's the center fielder, Renton Doyle. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. And here it comes. Way high. Uh -huh. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. And a good eye there. Two balls, no strike. And he deals. That's nope, outside. Three balls, no strikes. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. In for a strike. Three and one. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. The pitch. Bounced out to short. Perdomo. Whips it to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Well, oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder, wow, really impressive. Austin wins, digging in for the Rockies. Out to short. And it gets by him. Up next to Colorado, the right field. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Charlie Blackman digging in for the Rockies. Let's turn the five here. Swing and a pop up. And it drops in. Hey, whatever works, right? Now Doesn't have to be impressive. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. Paul Seawald on the pitch here. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. And we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. And now Ezekiel Tovar in the first pitch misses for ball one. That one down the line and foul ball. Wins over at second. Blackman at first. One gone. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Get you, get you. Top of the zone for a strike. It's two and two. This one smoked out to left. He dives, but he can't make the catch. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one.
the tying run at the plate. That one a little bit high, and that's ball two. In the air, right field. Carroll moving under it. And makes the grab. Runner tags for home. The relay to the plate, and he's in there. And a run comes in to score. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Next to hit, Nolan Jones. And that's in there for strike one. Righty delivers. That one fouled off. With a yellow excited on that fastball, got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark, you're a little late, opposite field not. One ball, two straight. Down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. And that's the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.